Hi kids. How are you? I hope you've all had a good week and had some time to rest and relax and play in the snow. Do you re, um, remember last week's story where we talked about Jesus being tempted, tempted and um, how he ended up not being tempted to do the things that the devil wanted him to do? And did you enjoy the craft that we had? I hope you did. Well, we have another interesting craft this week and a great story to go with it. So I think we should get started, don't you? Well, after Jesus was in the wilderness for the 40 days. When he came back, after spending the 40 days in the wilderness after his baptism, Jesus returned to the area around the Jordan. Can you see who this is? This is supposed to be John the Baptist. John the Baptist was still in the area preaching, and many people became disciples. Do you know what that word disciple means? It means follower. A follower of John's. Disciples like to spend lots of time with their teacher and wanted to be like them. So here are John's followers. John the Baptist, though, right here, was not concerned with his own popularity. He had lots of followers, but he didn't care about that. He wanted people that he taught to follow who? That's right. He wanted them to follow Jesus. John pointed Andrew and Simon Peter to Jesus, and they began to follow him. But might have gone back to fishing for a while before it was time to travel with Jesus. <clears throat> Now we know that John admired Jesus more than anyone else and he knew that Jesus was sent by God to save the world and he wanted all of the people to follow Jesus and to hear Jesus messages. So. When Jesus began his ministry, he asked people to follow him and become his disciples or his followers. One day when Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Andrew and Simon Peter casting their nets to catch fish. Jesus called out to them and said, follow me and I will make you fishers of people. <clears throat> so what do you think that meant? I will make you fishes of people. That's right. He was going to make them pe have people follow them. The fishermen usually cast their nets to bring in their fish. Fishes of men go fishing for men. They teach people and bring them to God. And who better to teach people about God than Jesus? Simon Peter and Andrew wanted to become fishers of people. They left their fishing immediately 
and followed Jesus. So they left their boats and went off and followed Jesus. They left their families to follow Jesus. Going on, they saw two other brothers, James and John, mending nets with their father Zebedee. Jesus called them and said, follow me. What do you think? Do you think they did follow him? Let's find out. James and John left their boat and their father and began to follow Jesus. Jesus' group of followers was growing. Now Jesus had four disciples, Simon Peter, Andrew, James, and John. On the way to Galilee, Jesus found Philip and invited him to come along too. Philip was from Bethsaida, the same town as Andrew and Simon Peter. The group was growing. Now there was five. <clears throat> Philip went to find his friend Nathaniel. We found the one that Moses wrote about in the scriptures, he said. He is Jesus of Nazareth. Philip is very excited to tell Nathaniel all about Jesus. Do you think Nathaniel gets up and goes with Philip? Let's find out. When Nathaniel met Jesus, he was very surprised. He had never met Jesus before, but Jesus knew all about him. Because of this, Nathaniel knew that Jesus was someone very spe special sent from God. He started to follow Jesus too. You might know Nathaniel by another name. His other name was Bartholomew. So how many do we have now? I, th I count six. Jesus called others to follow him too. Matthew the tax collector in the town of Capernaum some people thought that Matthew could never be like Jesus. Tax collectors were often cheaters, but Jesus knew that Matthew had a good heart. When Jesus said, Matthew, come, follow me, Matthew got up from the table and began to follow Jesus. Jesus invited others to follow him also. Soon James called James the less because he was younger than the other James. And Thomas followed Jesus. Another Simon, Thaddeus, and Judas Iscariot also joined the group. The group had grown by now to twelve. The disciples must have had very tender hearts to follow Jesus so quickly. They immediately left their careers. Some were fishermen or tax collectors. <clears throat> or
or other kinds of jobs to travel with Jesus. They also left their families. They left their mothers and fathers, their wives and children, all to travel with Jesus. Most of them did this based on his simple invitation to follow me. It was not their education or their talent that made them special. It was their commitment to follow Jesus. And that's what they did. They all followed Jesus. So, here are their names. Peter, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Thomas, Matthew, Bartholomew, or Nathaniel, James the Less, Simon, Thaddeus, and Judas. All twelve followed Jesus. I hope you like that story. I think that's one of the good, really good stories, how they all came to follow Jesus. Now, I have, I hope what you will like is a very fun craft. Can you see what I made? So here's a boat to kind of let you know that some of them were fishermen. And here is a fishing pole on the boat. Can you see that? And the fishing pole goes up and down. And look what we have inside. We have not fish, but we have little squares of each one, can you see that? I will put it up close. Of the disciples, this one is Andrew. So this is a half, actually it's a little bit less than a half, of a paper plate. And this is the other half of a paper plate covered in blue construction paper. So it's real easy. I took a file folder and opened it up and I put light blue construction paper on the top and then dark blue construction paper on the bottom and I took a paper plate simple white paper plate I cut it in half I used half over here and so let me put this down just for a second so I can illustrate I put glue on the edge and I glued the edge to the file folder. You have to hold it for a little bit or put something heavy on the edge um, <clears throat> until it sets. Or you can use staples if the glue doesn't set quite fast enough for you. You can staple it to the edge. And then I covered the whole thing with another sheet of blue construction paper. But it leaves a nice pocket. And in the pocket, you put these little squares. So let me show you where the little squares of the disciples come from. So I have sent a sheet similar to this on an email with each one of the faces that you can color with their name and what you do is you glue that sheet to um, a piece of cardstock and then cut it out into little squares like I showed you. So here's Philip. Can you see Philip? There's Philip. And I don't know if it's better to pull Philip back so you can see him. Yeah, it's probably better that way, huh? Okay. And then you attach a paper clip with glue on the back. And when you have all 12, you put them in the pocket. So I put them in the pocket, and then I attach to this cardboard arm 
a magnet. And see, I have fished a bunch of our disciples. And then you can put them back once you fish out. Try and fish all 12 at once. But if that doesn't work, keep fishing. Once you take them out, keep fishing until you get them all. And I hope you enjoy making this because it was a, it's, it's, I think it's a lot of fun. But it's a great way to help tell the story and keep it in your mind of the 12 disciples. Now I know they weren't all fishermen, <clears throat> but at least it will give you an idea and maybe you can tell the story to your parents. Well, <clears throat> that's it for today. I hope you have a great week. Stay well and safe and God bless until we are together again. Take care.